we want to be a you know a, a accessible council and and we want people to be able to reach out to us but um i do think that you know when you're sitting for six and a half hours it's not always the best use of, of folks time and we did ask the group because there were several um members of you know, a, you know, a neighborhood group, yep. if they wanted to come up together, they, they declined to do that. And, and people want to be heard. They want to let us know their specific concerns. And that's part of democracy. And, and again, you know, uh, city council is your local level of government. It's the most accessible. Yep. And, uh, and so that's just, you know, one of the things that, that happens. Um, I remember the first time that I ever spoke at council before I was on it was during the, the you know the Parkway debates back in 2012, yep. and uh, they had two or three nights of, of delegations. Um, that was a public meeting under the Planning Act, so a little bit different. But uh, yeah, it's a you know you want people to be heard, but you know we have had also hundreds of emails and phone calls about sure. those issues as well. So um, yeah, it's a it's an interesting. We've had some discussions at City Hall about how we can maybe make things more efficient. I, I, and that leads to my next question. Uh, you've talked to some other municipalities, uh, but at the same time, you want to be as accessible as possible yeah. for people. Um, do you think there'll be a review or a look at the current policy and and you know with the thoughts on maybe making some changes or somehow? Uh, I mean, it's not something that's immediately on the radar. We did change it in the last term of council, um, which is when we had sort of the time limits and really encouraging people to register. So we did make those changes before. Um, so it would be a conversation with the clerk um, and seeing if the will of council is to go that go that way. I mean, yeah. it happens when you have those really. Uh, important and contentious issues and people are really concerned about you know their community and their neighborhood and I mean it speaks to the fact that we have so many folks in Peterborough that care very deeply about mm -hmm. about the city that they were willing to stay until 1230 to speak or just to listen to their neighbors speak so yeah yeah I mean that's something that you know is really I think we can't you know can't overlook um, but then it is you know a fine balance of well, how are we being the most productive with our time? Yeah, and and I, I do recognize that that fifty six is isn't the norm. Yeah, um, it was an exceptional evening because of things that are kind of going on at this current time. But again, uh, I, I would guess that that you would encourage anything that would still allow people to have their say, but in a way that's efficient. Uh, not only for them, but also for council. Absolutely, and that's why we have, you know, ward drop-ins, and uh, I meet with constituents regularly, and they see us in the grocery store. So, you know, we are, I think, f very accessible. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you know, we have had a, a few meetings where we've had more than, say, 20 delegations. So, right. it is, you know, a, it's a recurring theme, and it's people are engaged and people care. Um, which is which is good. Yeah. Um, but then it's you know that's why we postponed the actual business portion to Thursday because we didn't want to be making final decisions on the budget at three in the morning oh, because no. that's not good for anybody. People's brains are kind of no. fried by then. No, absolutely. There, it was kind of out of the question yeah. at that point. Yeah. Um, I, not to belabor the point, but again, uh, you mentioned uh, several people there were speaking on the same issue. Um, I guess in a perfect world, you're able to pull those people together ahead of time and say, can you appoint a spokesperson to represent all of you? But Yeah, we try, We sort of tried that at the beginning to say, like, you know, if you want to send up two or three people and come up all together so that we see that, you know, but yeah. uh, but it's their, it's their right under the bylaws or under the procedural bylaws to be able to come up individually, and that's what they chose to do, so. Okay.